Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today we'll be uh, reviewing um, fragrance made by uh, Monique Lollier or Lollier. Uh, she is a Filipino-American um, clothing designer that uh, apparently um, released her new fragrance uh, just recently in 2021 or 2020 something somewhere around there I think it was 2020 and the fragrance I'm talking about is her herself as Monique Lollier and um, I found this uh, when I went to Nordstrom um, a couple of weeks ago uh, I decided to go to Nordstrom because I'm always looking for some new fragrances for uh, for myself and just to just test in general outside of what we are all used to and I came across this beautiful beautiful bottle the first thing that caught my attention was the flower and I went on to try it mainly because of the flower I'm such a sucker for flowers so I really liked it um, I really liked how the bottle was so cute so feminine so dainty um, I really like this fragrance it's different from anything else I have I feel like it's more floral and um, I, I tried it on I've worn it two times already and the two times that I've worn it it made me feel super super feminine I I really love feminine fragrances as well as some that go you know the lean masculine or, or the ones that are you know unisex uh, I don't really care whether a fragrance is supposed to be for men if, if I like it and it feels like it would I would enjoy it I wear it so it, it's not that it's just I realized that I found this one extra feminine uh, uh, for what I read she made it uh, it's supposed to be for um, for a bride you know because apparently she makes uh, I'm not 100% sure so I'm I'm guessing that she makes a dresses for brides or something related to that um, I were in my rest today because I already have another fragrance um, and it's very hot outside so I still don't know how this is going to behave in the hot weather so I can't tell you that this is for the hot weather or for the colder weather although I, I can tell you that this is probably going to behave really well in the colder weather um, I would need to wear it tomorrow and just a little bit of it to see if it does you know handle the hot weather it hasn't been hot around here until today and I did not realize it's gonna be hot until it was too late I had to put up uh, another perfume on so to um, to get down to the nitty-gritty here uh, we're gonna go to the main accords uh, and I found all of this in Fragantica Fragantica says that the main accords are floral green woody fresh spicy citrus aromatic rose aquatic yellow floral, floral and white floral okay. yellow floral and white floral so with that being said I do can uh, smell in the beginning of it when you first spray it you can smell the citrusy juicy kind of kind of thing and then it just uh, goes all the way down to like it curves down to this beautiful uh, feminine flowery uh, flowery for a flowery smell not like as in green or anything although it does kind of smell a little bit green um, and then you you begin to smell I'm gonna give you I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you the perfume pyramid so here are the top notes are uh, Sicilian bergamot uh, dewdrop uh, Yaseth Cassis and then the middle notes are going to be Freysia, Ylang Ylang, Lily of the Valley, and Rose. And the base notes, you have your Musk, Woodsy notes, and Patchouli. Now, um, I don't really smell the Patchouli. Uh, of course, it's on the top and the bottom note. So I don't, right now, as in right now, it's been a half an hour. I don't smell the Patchouli just yet, but I, I can, I can, I can see. I can kind of get a little bit of it it's starting to kind of break through um, I feel though that this fragrance I, I think that if she created it for brides it sh she is absolutely on the money because it is really perfect for a bride if I were gonna get married again with my husband of course um, I would definitely wear this one um, it really is it's very soft feminine I, I actually do picture 
a really beautiful bride uh, wearing it. Now, I got this one uh, um, after I found the fragrance. Um, I went to get it and the person who was selling it to me wasn't very nice and didn't want to give me a sample. So they, um, they offered me, well, I mean, they had to sell, right? So they offered me that um, travel size, which is this one. And I can tell you that it was a great thing because, uh, I mean, I wore it twice. You can see right there. I made a little bit of a dent. Uh, I have to wear it very careful because you you never know how a, a fragrance is gonna behave. And so when, when it's your first time and, and you don't know how is it gonna go, you have to just put a little bit of it. So in case it doesn't work out, you can always wash it off or it's not gonna be so much of it on yourself that you'll be overwhelmed and you know, it's gonna be easier. So uh, after the second day of wearing this one, I, I was thinking, well, I'll have my husband and my kids buy it for me for Mother's Day, but I couldn't wait for it. And I went and I got it. And I tell you, it looks so beautiful on, uh, on my perfume tray right there. It is so adorable. Look at that, oh my, oh my God, my camera's behaving. It's so crazy. Look at that, look how pretty. Look how pretty the bottle is. Oh, take this away. Oh, I don't want you to see my magnified eye. But look at that. Look at that beautiful. And I haven't used it, not because, um, of course, I don't like it or anything, but because I have this one. And I feel like um, I'm going to wear a couple of times more on this one, and then I'm going to jump into this one. I just, just because I feel like, you know, I don't want to start using it up because I love that little bottle. So, um, this thing cost me about somewhere between 80 and 90 dollars i'm not 100 percent sure i forgot but i tell you something this is very feminine and it does last it doesn't have a, a, a gigantic sillage but people can smell it so um you will you know you will share it with everybody else when you're wearing it people will notice you they will notice that you were wearing it uh, but it's very floral kind of powdery but it, you can you can smell the citrus. I can still smell the citrus a little bit on the top. Very powdery. It's it's so not offensive. So so sweet. So adorable. I definitely recommend it. And I'm gonna put a link of it down on the description so you guys can go and get it. And don't quote me on it, but I feel like uh, well, it might just be all those sweet. Um, uh, florals but I feel like I smell a tiny bit of vanilla maybe it's just me uh, but this this most definitely has vanilla in it I know that Fragantica doesn't have that vanilla uh, vanilla listed on the notes on any of the notes and I haven't seen it in any other um, uh, you know, in Nordstrom, for example, I haven't seen vanilla as one of the notes being listed there, but I can almost guarantee you that this, this one has vanilla unless my nose is just deceiving me, but it has, I think it has a hint of vanilla and it, it would be great because I love vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorites. So go ahead and get it. And, um, let me know if you have it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you have the ones that you have that are most floral. Do they smell like vanilla? And how do you go about uh, wearing them uh, when they're really sweet florals? How do you go about wearing them on hot days like summer or hotter spring days? Because I want to know um, how to, how, you know, how to possibly wear this in summer because it's exquisite. And I think you guys are gonna love it. And I think you're gonna, are gonna be so happy you're gonna buy another bottle. So this is all for today. And thank you for uh, watching again my YouTube channel. And please give a follow. Um, please, just a follow and uh, touch the little bell and uh, follow me and so we can be friends. And I can keep delivering to you more reviews. And let me know if you have any fragrance in mind that you haven't heard of that you want me to review so that I can review it and we'll see you next time.